I, I don't know the impact of it or, or if it really even has yet at this point. I've got a very mature group of young men. And this morning, uh, they jumped on responsibilities of, of uh, you know, putting, putting uh, objects in secure places and then getting the uh, building uh, sandbagged. And, and uh, we sent people here, we sent people there, hey, the guys downstairs need you, and they just, they just scrambled and, and helped. Um, at the time, we were supposed to be uh, stretching or, or meeting and, and then going into a, to a walkthrough, and nobody asked about it, nobody talked about it. We, we just worked until we got done with that. Um, got dinner, and then when we found out that uh, the streets were open and put us in a position to, to bring guys in, I, I knew I needed to feed guys, and I knew I needed to get yeah. guys where they were safe and secure, so we, we brought them in, got right back on our, our normal afternoon schedule. Everything from 12 o'clock on, we've been, we've been uh, uh, normal, but then with the, with the shutdown of the water uh, in the city, that's, that's made us scramble a little bit. We've, we've got some great friends that have, that have uh, reached out to us. We're going to a couple high schools right now. We're going to Huxley? We're going to Huxley and we're going to Gilbert. Um, uh, Nevada also stepped up and was in a position to help us, but, but the route the straight state troopers were going to send us was going to take us maybe an hour to get there, mm -hmm. so it didn't make any sense. So we're going to Huxley and we're going to Gilbert. Uh, Try to secure as many shower heads as we could. <laughs> um, we'll get the gang showered and we'll get them back. Uh, my staff has just been exceptional. We've got guys running around and securing water and, and, and drinks, and uh, so we'll, we'll have plenty of that for the, for the guys here tonight. We'll have plenty to send home with them uh, as well. To take care of them until tomorrow morning. I, I, I got a manager crew that has figured out how they're going to get laundry done, where yeah, they're going to have to go. And, yeah, and they're, they're, I'm sure they're going to be a, about a 24-hour night day before they get back and we get started tomorrow. We got a two-day tomorrow, and, and uh, our plan is to, to stick with the schedule and, and stay after. You have to have a quarter collection for those guys who want to do the laundry. <laughs> well, we're, we're going to have to figure out that. I, I don't have any rolls in back in my, my uh, desk, but we'll have to get something figured out for them. Have you ever gone through anything as weird and unique as this, especially when you missed this up in like two days? I, 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 I can't recall anything in, in camp. Uh, that, that's been this strange, you know, living around here, uh, I was back in 93, my brother got married, uh, so I was back in, in, in Iowa for, for the floods of 93, um, and, and at, at other times while we've been here, you've always had to send back the, the, the creek at some point to, to, to save something on campus. Um, you know, the, the, the great thing about Iowa State University and, and, and what we have is we haven't missed a beat yet, and um, I, at other places, heck, at Auburn two years ago, uh, lightning storm hits and we couldn't practice. Rain comes down and lightning storm hits, you got no indoor, you're done and you miss you miss everything. So we, we missed a year uh, more a year ago with, with a lightning storm than I have already at, at this point with, with a flood. So I should be grateful and I am. When are you hoping to get back outdoors? Well, believe it or not, uh, we, we were going to go uh, outdoors, uh, they thought possibly even tomorrow until this last monsoon mm -hmm. hit. Um, I could go outside right now on, on John Major's mm -hmm. practice fields. Um, the soil content there is just not as good as it is in the stadium or over at the Field of Dreams. And uh, I don't want to chew it up too soon. Mm -hmm. I want to have that grass. I want to be able to practice on that grass. I want to be able to practice outside for a, for a longer length of the season. Um, as is common with our kids, I got nobody complaining right mm -hmm. now about going indoors and we can get everything done that we need to accomplish indoors. So uh, with, with, with that being the case, I'll, I'll live with it right now. and. When I, when I know I need to get out on some grass and that's dried up a little bit, then we'll hit it for a couple of days. Is, so you got here and what did you do when you got here this morning? Uh, we got here about 6.30. We had breakfast and uh, we noticed the flooding and uh, Coach uh, grabbed a bunch of guys and started sandbagging for well, they're as soon as we got here. They're they're just so does up. this kind of put in perspective? Everybody says you play the toughest schedule in the country, but yet you're no, out there no, sandbagging no. and you're there's more to life than no. Texas and Oklahoma and Iowa? Uh, no, I don't think we're, most of the guys, we didn't yeah, even think about the season, about kind of just yeah. kind of yeah. saving the stadium and, you know, and thoughts and prayers are going out to all, all to the citizens of Ames, you know, the Ames yeah, community. And, uh, you know, just kind of big thing, you know, just kind of save what we can pretty much. So. Do you wish you didn't practice today? Uh, it would be nice too, but uh, at <laughs> the yeah. same time, we need to get out there and work yeah. too. So, what was practice like yeah. today? Did you guys get your minds off everything a little bit? Right. Yeah, I think we had a good focus practice here yeah, for right. the most part. Got guys got, got got out there and flew around. You know, we had, had fun a little bit, so it was a good practice. Did you have any trouble getting here this morning? I did. I just live on the other side of the Berksham, so it was right down the street for me. So, who helped? Did Austin had trouble? He had trouble, didn't he? Yeah, I don't think Austin didn't make it at all until later in the afternoon. So, 
Wow, that's incredible. So, do you guys do more sandbagging tonight or tomorrow? Or I think we, I think right now the plan is play by ear. Tonight, I guess we're going to go to a hospital, or not a hospital, high school, and uh, shower up and uh, pretty much just play by play by ear, you know. So, that's the plan. Just gets stranger and stranger by the minute. It does. Sandbag and no water, have to transfer out for food and drink. But we don't have it as bad as, you know, most people in the community. So, I mean, like I said, we're blessed. But, uh, thought, like I said, I thought some prayers go out yeah. to those, you know, in the community. So, Thanks, Rashawn. Yeah. Thanks, man.